Hey, hello everyone. Um, today I'm standing in the Danish radio headquarters here in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm here with uh, Simon Höfting. Yes. And it's a special day today because tonight uh, we are going to receive uh, a prize here in this building. And what is this about, Simon? Yes, this is so exciting because this is a prize for the classical event of the year that we all did together at, uh, at Ritmo with our collaborators from, uh, from Europe uh, back in October with the Danish String Quartet. And we are the first researchers ever to receive a musical prize. So that's extremely <laughs> exciting, I think. <laughs> yeah. and, and for this event, this was what we call a music lab, which yes. is a concept that we have been developing at the uh, University of Oslo over the years. And the idea is really to try to see how we can study music in a real life setting. Uh, capturing different things on the musicians and also on the audiences and then also try to see how we can share and, and work with that material uh, openly. And in this particular uh, music lab, the Music Lab Copenhagen, yes. who and what did we do there in, in, uh, in this, in this well, setup? I think the question is rather what didn't we do actually <laughs> because it's extremely complex. We were, uh, if you count everyone who joined in and did a good chunk of work with 25 people working on that, uh, at least 12 researchers uh, working on their own hypotheses. So we are working on hypotheses relating to synchronization of different bodily signals uh, internally to audience members and internally to the musicians, but also across audience and musicians. We're looking at uh, pupillometric responses to stress uh, when performing. Uh, we have a huge questionnaire where the audience are reporting when they feel what kinds of of existential emotions or absorbed into the music or when they're mind wandering. And all of that can be connected in a myriad of ways that there's no way we can cover all of it in our own work. So it's openly accessible for anyone out there who want to look at it. And most importantly, we worked with the Danish String Quartet, one of the leading oh, yeah. string quartets <laughs> in the world, playing some fantastic music uh, from Beethoven to folk music. Yeah. So if you're interested in more about this, um, look at the links down here uh, where you can see the full concert and there are links to the prize uh, ceremony and to more material and the data and yes. well, everything else. And a else. really cool documentary video of just 10 minutes if you want to get just a 10 minute impression. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it, Music Lab Copenhagen and um, yeah, see you later. See you later.